chaos. No one has ever considered that they might be mentally ill before in most cases. They've just been treated as offenders. They've been treated as criminals when they were on the streets, so forth and so on. They're just you know, bad people, so to speak, and nobody considered that they might be ill as well. But once we decided that uh, treating that mental illness could allow them to follow the rules, uh, this unit was designed to, to help achieve that. For these inmates, the journey back to mental health won't be an easy one. But the psych unit aims to stabilize each of their mental conditions within two to two and a half years so that they can return to the general population of the prison. I think it's the best thing that's happened in this prison. I think every prison ought to have something like this because you've got people that won't survive in population without, without this. Sir? Uh, There are some inmates, like Philip Sullivan, who don't believe they should be in the psych unit at all. I'm just dying to say I was in Leo because I said I heard Jesus Christ was going to set me free from prison. And they dying to me and said, hearing voices. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. I've been with these inmates for almost 16 years or more. These inmates ain't schizophrenic, they ain't paranoid, they're just drug addicts. I have a degree in drug and drug counseling. I mean counseling, I was used to counsel cancer patients as a baby. I, I left home at age five, me and with my brother. I worked in, I worked cancer houses. At five years of age, when I went to school, I used to hide my biblical cord as a baby and wore pampers. <laughs> His diagnosis is not as clear at this point. Um, there's some uh, delusional, he's heavily delusional. You know, I'm not delusional. I, you know, I'm not a Charles Manson or Tex Watson. You know, I'm not a schizophrenic paranoid. I'm not a drug addict. I'm not crazy. Release the face! 